When we create a simple rendering in Viscom, we might not be sure about the exact distribution of elements and colors that we describe with the prompt, so it's mandatory to have additional control over these separate elements. The way how to do that is by using the Painting Lasso Selection tool located at the top Join toolbar, alternatively you can hit G on the keyboard. Now create a rough selection around the area or element that you want to focus on. And you can provide a prompt focusing only on this selected part. You can describe the desired appearance and completely reinterpret the selected part using render mode. It's worth to switch back to Viscom General for a more realistic implementation. Lowering the join influence can provide a bit more freedom for the prompt to get across. We can toggle between the generated renderings and confirm the desired one. And now we can move forward and optionally we can start focusing on a different area. Worth noting that the masks are only active when the impainting tool is selected from the toolbar and each time you create a new selection by drawing a path on a canvas, the previous one is gonna get lost and the only way to get it back is by using undo. So getting back to it using basically the same actions, just selecting the part, redescribing them, setting the influence and clicking on generate to get the desired change across. And don't forget to simply draw on the canvas if you have an idea that can better be visualized rather than described. For this, use refine mode, lower the influence and click on generate with the mask on. And we can see that it started transforming our drawing into a soul of some sort, even without mentioning anything related in the prompt. We can also select multiple areas with the painting selection tool by holding down shift on the keyboard. I'm simply just going to get rid of these elements by using no prompt and 0% influence. You can also find a link tutorial on this magic erase function. And lastly, we can also invert the selection mask that can come handy for example when we only want to change the background of something. So by simply clicking on invert, it will invert the selected mask. Since we selected some of the parts from the actual object, it can grab those colors and reflections and it will match it nicely with the background. And keeping the drawing influence high is gonna make sure that the object silhouette stays intact. Here anyway I was just aiming for a simple color adjusted background to get rid of the halo marks left by the maskings before. So the rendering is done, we can export the canvas. I hope this tutorial was helpful, let me know if you have any questions and I see you in the next one.